Yesterday I uploaded a complete guide on how to get the Legends title using Stark Enhanced Spidey, who with the addition of Nick Fury is now much more competitive versus someone like Corvus, since Nick Fury actually gives three really solid synergy bonuses for Stark Spidey. Now Nick Fury doesn't really give anything to Corvus, you don't want to use Nick Fury for a Corvus team, but even still, I think Corvus is just a little bit faster due to the guaranteed crits that you get with Corvus. So I had a few people asking me to put together a little Corvus guide, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So full disclosure, before we get into the best synergies and masteries and general play style that you want to have, um, I only have a 4-star Corvus. I don't have a 5-star or 6-star, and I'm familiar with how the champion works, but because I don't have a 5 or 6-star, I don't play him all that much, so... There's a slight chance I might get something wrong. I did verify the info that I'm going to share with you guys with my alliance mates who are much more experienced with the champion, just to make sure. But, if I do get anything wrong here, please post some type of correction in the comments down below. That said, this info should be pretty solid. So, alright, first, of course, you want to have as high-ranked Corvus as possible before even considering to do a Legends run. So, either a rank 5 5-star five or a rank 2 6-star at this point in the game. For synergies, you want to have Proxima on the team. Uh, not only will you gain True Strike for completing uh, one of the missions against evading and auto-blocking champions, uh, you also gain an attack bonus. And the attack bonus is probably more important, actually, uh, depending on the month, at least. Depending on the month, you're not really going to come across too many evading or auto-blocking champions, and you'll probably mow them over so fast that it doesn't matter anyway. But the attack bonus is nice. Uh, attack bonuses, attack synergies, and any type of mastery that increases your attack, that's the name of the game with Corvus. Since you have guaranteed crits, any type of crit synergy is going to be worthless, and any type of cruelty synergy is going to be practically worthless as well, just because Corvus gains so much uh, crit damage bonus from completing his missions that you're not going to notice uh, an extra 100 or 200 from synergies. It's just, it's just not going to matter. So you want attack. That is the name of the game. So you notice here that Corvus has an attack synergy with Doctor Strange. And then if we go down to Proxima, Proxima also has a, an attack bonus with Doctor Strange on the team. Uh, and what's nice about this is you notice I have a 5-star Proxima. 5-star Proxima has a plus 7% attack bonus versus the standard plus 6 that you'll see a lot of the synergy champions having. Uh, Corvus actually does get plus 7% attack as well if you have a 5 or 6 star version. So actually what some people will do, some people who have both 5 and 6 star Corvus and Proxima, that will be their entire team. You know, they'll, they'll go ahead and, and basically just get 7% attack bonus uh, for any of these, for, you know, for each Corvus and each Proxima on the team, you're going to get that 7% attack bonus. Because I don't have that strong of Proxima and, and Corvus, yeah, these ones, the three stars here, they'll only get even plus five. That's really not going to cut it. Um, but that's that's all you need is attack synergy. So uh, you can substitute these champions with just about any two attack uh, bonus synergy champions, whatever you want to call it, uh, and you'll be perfectly fine. So you could do something like Magneto, who has an attack synergy... Uh, with Cyclops here, uh, not to be confused with the, the, the crit synergies that the mutants are kind of known for. You don't want to worry about that. Once again, you just want the attack bonuses. So you could throw these guys on the team. Uh, you can go with kind of the old school standard that people were using uh, to get through Realm of, uh, not Realm of Legends, through Labyrinth of Legends with something like Yellow Jacket and Ant-Man. Uh, this will also give you the attack bonus. It doesn't really matter who you throw on the team. You just want attack. Now, I'm going to step away from kind of a Legends run perspective for a moment here and just talk about some other Synergy teams that I think are pretty cool when it comes to using Corvus. Some of these teams may come in handy depending on the, the new champions that get added for the month. Uh, you know, we, we've seen lately that there's been some champions where anytime you land a critical hit against them, like Mr. Sinister, for example, they actually heal from that. So some of these other combinations that I'm going to show you depending on the month, might come in handy for you. Or you could even just take these synergies into another piece of content entirely. Uh, you know, some, some other 
story quest or, or something along those lines. So let's go ahead and just take a look at a, at a couple of options just to kind of keep things interesting. So the first option, you notice that Doctor Strange is not the only person that gets a plus attack bonus. Uh, you could also throw on Nebula. And what's nice about Nebula is since you have Proxima on the team, uh, Proxima has a synergy with Nebula where Nebula will start the fight with 10 shock charges. Uh, this is fantastic. When, when you have full suicides on, you're fully boosted up and everything, Nebula's shocks, they're very powerful actually. Uh, so yeah, you can unleash these things right at the start of the fight. That'll deal a lot of damage combined with your regular attacks and everything. The enemies are not going to last very long. It's not going to be as fast as using Corvus, but again, for those situations where you can't use Corvus, this is a really good backup plan to have. Um, you can you can get more creative than that as well. Uh, you know, you, you don't have the attack bonus uh, with Proxima here for having Nebula on the team, but you can use, for example, a Gulk, and I don't think Gulk would help at all in a Legend-style run, not for a monthly event quest, but maybe you need him for a celebrity event or something like that, celebrity challenge, where there's Starburst or something like that present, or you need an extra large champion, or, or something along those lines. It's just, it's nice to have that flexibility. Uh, you know, you could even go ahead and toss on someone like Captain Beardo here, that has a synergy with Golk, and again, this is not going to open a Legends run, but this is just a pretty solid team overall uh, that does still offer a decent amount of attack bonus. Uh, it is just very powerful, um, something that you can take anywhere in the game. Uh, one other synergy team that uh, I thought was really cool that I want to go over real quick. Uh, actually, if we take a look at the attack synergy here again, there is no 5-star Scarlet Witch as of yet, but if Kabam ever adds it, the team I'm about to show you, it looks pretty sick in my opinion. Uh, so we got Scarlet Witch and OG Vision, two very powerful champions that have power gain synergies. Uh, and with the power gain synergies, you know, you could still have the 10 shock charges of the fight. You'll still have two forms of, uh, you know, attack synergies. You have the Proxima True Strike bonus here for Corvus. Like, this team overall is just very powerful. So, I like this quite a bit, actually. Uh, Alright, that said, once again, when it comes down to it for a standard monthly Legends run... Uh, you don't really need any of this stuff, you know, just just get yourself as large of an attack bonus as possible. Uh, I'll just go ahead, since I already have science open, let's throw these guys in for the extra attack bonus that uh, they're going to bring to the table. Uh, okay, let's cover masteries real quick before we get into a little bit of the play style, because, uh, you know, it's worth, it was worth talking about the play style. Uh, a little bit. I think there's ways to save time when fighting with Corvus. But when it comes down to masteries, uh, again, you do not want a any type of crit rating because it's going to be worthless. So you can drop precision. Uh, you can drop lesser precision. Cruelty, you can keep that. You're not going to notice it once you have uh, his, uh, you know, his missions complete. But before you get the first mission complete, this will still add a good amount of damage, so you can keep that. But everything else, you just want as much plus attack as possible. So you want full suicide masteries, you want glass cannon, you know, you, you want greater strength. Even though some of these things don't add a ton, it's better than nothing. Uh, you do need willpower. Uh, what's nice about Corvus is that when you're running the suicide masteries, when his glaive charges are active, he actually doesn't take any bleed damage, but you still suffer from the debuff itself. Uh, which is good and bad. It's bad if you're fighting someone like Void because you take some damage, but it's good if you have the Willpower Mastery because you're actually going to heal up from it. Uh, so you're not going to have to worry about using potions throughout the run, or you shouldn't, as long as you don't make too many mistakes, uh, because you are going to be healing at the start of each fight with Suicides plus Willpower. Um, but you don't need anything special in the Proficiency Tree. Just get you know your standard parry decks, uh, Stupefy, and, and you're good to go there. And then just, yeah, chuck the rest of your mastery points uh, into the offensive tree. And there's nothing insane here outside of the suicide masteries, but even something like Pierce will add a very small amount of damage. So go ahead, put points in it, whatever. Assassin, probably not going to mean anything, because if they get that low, you're going to kill them regardless. But, you know, if you got points, why not? 
All right, the last thing I want to talk about is just covering a little bit of the Corvus play style. And what I want to talk about specifically is just kind of how you approach each fight uh, with your, you know, what combo you're going to be using. So I'm going to go into a heroic quest here. I'll go into the first quest. Uh, and of course, as you go on in your Legends run, you know, things are going to change based off of how difficult the enemy actually is. But uh, we'll take a look at this this first fight in here, uh, which is we'll, we'll go up to this gambit, and this is nice because gambit's going to give us a uh, a mission. He's, we're going to complete a mission because he is a mutant champion. Um, but I want to show you two different things. I want to do a you know mo the standard combo is medium, light, 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 medium, right? So let's let's just go ahead and try to use that in this fight right here. Uh, and you'll, you'll see there's going to be a little bit of difference depending on how you approach it. So, uh, medium. Oh, jeez. Because I attacked into his block, it still killed him in two hits. Uh, all right. Let's run that back. Okay. What I was trying to show with this gambit is that if you do, uh, if you try to do your standard five hit combo, we're actually going to kill him in three hits. If I didn't do that damage, uh, through his block, you, you, you'll see right here. Uh, one, two, three. Three hits because uh, the first light attack of your combo is not going to crit. So that took three hits. Uh, we'll run it back one more time now. And this time what I want you to pay attention to is just how much damage I do on the first medium attack. If the first medium attack brings the enemy below 50% health, then you know you can finish the fight with one more medium attack. You don't need to do a standard combo of medium and a bunch of lights ending with a medium. You can kind of change up your combo to end the fight a little bit quicker, and this fight will be over in only two hits. So medium, medium, done. Move on. It's not a huge time savings, that, that one extra attack, but if you think about over the course of an entire run, um, you know, you're, you're competing against everyone else trying to get this top 100 Legends time. Uh, any small advantage you can get like that is going to help out a lot. And that's what makes Corvus so powerful is that you can change your combos to get that, that speed up a little bit. All right, so now that I have a charge, uh, you know, this next fight, let's, let's just see how fast this one drops. Even with my, my little four-star uh, Corvus Glaive here, this guy has 3,000 health. Let's see if I can one-shot him. Uh, of course, I'm getting hit a little bit. Of course, I'm getting hit a lot of bits. But boom, he goes down in one actual hit. Uh, so yeah, you can imagine a fully boosted up uh, 565 Chorus. You're just going to be tearing through these guys. Um, but keep the combo thing in mind. Pay attention to how much damage your first Glaive hits. Maybe it's not going to deal 50%, but maybe it'll deal 40%. And if you get the enemy below 40% health, then you can just, boom, end it right away with that medium. Uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to do anything else. Um, the one last tip I will say about that, though, is, you know, the name of the game is just trying to go as fast as possible. If, if it's going to get a little too confusing, trying to keep track of all the numbers and stuff like that, then, you know, don't stress it too much. Uh, you're better off not making a mistake. Uh, if, if that's going to distract you a little bit too much, but if you can get comfortable with changing up and altering your combos a little bit, then you will have an advantage over the rest of the pack. Uh, all right, so the last last thing, uh, I just want to cover a couple of things that I talked about in my last video with Stark Spidey. Uh, you know, we're, we're not going to go into too much detail, but you know, you do want to be using as powerful of boosts as possible. Uh, the health boost doesn't really matter, but you want to be popping on the largest attack and champion boosts that you possibly can since they do provide a lot of extra damage. Um, generally, a Legends run is uh, a little bit under three and a half hours to make the top 100. You can save a little cost by having uh, three of these of the biggest boost, but starting out the run for the first half an hour uh, or so by just using the medium boost, something like that, just to, just to cut the cost a little bit. And just make sure you have enough units to cover the energy re refill requirements, which, uh, you know, you want about 1,200 units. It's going to take roughly 40 energy refills. Uh, it's usually a little bit under that, but just make sure you have enough to cover everything. Uh, start out with 10 
and then you know buy them as you go um, generally is, is, is the way to go now that they can't be gifted uh, that and make sure you practice ahead of time uh, go through the difficulty uh, go, go through on the normal difficulty or uncollected uh, go through 100% so you know all the different paths to take um, you know try to double check and any information you can get on the newest champions that get released uh, you know make sure that Corvus is capable of taking them out and normally you have you have a couple of weeks when the event quest comes out I think it's the first two weeks that you can get your run in uh, so you don't have to do it day one you can gather a little bit of info maybe there's some tricks that the community comes out with so pay a little bit of extra special attention to places like reddit or anyone uploading videos on these fights that could potentially save you some time all right I think that's about it if anyone else has any information or any additional information or, or any corrections on something that I may have gotten wrong, please put that in the comments down below. And that's going to do it for this video. Good luck on your Legends run, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.